Welcome to the second video on my Gary's Mod Zombie Survival Guide, an in-depth look into zombie survival series. This video we will go over deployables. Because we covered resupplies and remantlers in episode 1, I will skip them for this video. The Fridge Fridges are used for collecting food. Every 280 seconds you can get one resupply of food from the fridge. Most of the food items just heal you, however, soda gives you adrenaline and beer cups give you warmth. Water gives cleanse and coffee gives slipstream. Adrenaline gives you movement speed and increases stamina regen delay. Warmth gives a buff to melee weapon damage depending on the tier, up to 15% more damage. Cleanse prevents one status effect from affecting you. Slipstream makes your phasing speed match your regular movement speed. If you want to see a full list of status effects, press F1 while in-game and select the status effects option just above skills. Fridges can also be used as a sort of barricade against the zombies. During clutch moments, someone can buy a fridge and place it in front of the barricade, forcing the zombies to stop and break the fridge before entering the cave. The Prop Transponder The Prop Transponder is used to spawn props. You use points to buy props, which then appear above the transponder and slowly build up over time. How long each prop takes to spawn is different depending on how big that prop is. Each prop costs a different amount of points. After two props are spawned, the prop transponder goes on a 75 second cooldown. During that time, no props will spawn, but you can still buy props to queue up. The Message Beacon and Sensor these two are simple. Message beacons allow you to place the message down anywhere. You can click a drop down menu and choose which message you want. And a sensor goes off when a zombie goes in front of the laser. It applies spotted to the zombie, which gives humans a 5% damage buff on the zombie. The three turrets. First we will start off with the gun turret. The gun turret is exactly what it sounds like. You place it on the ground, feed it ammo, and it will shoot the zombies for you. When you buy a gun turret, you will also need to buy ammo for it, as it does not spawn with ammo. There are three variants to the regular gun turret. The first one is SMG ammo, the second uses rifle ammo, and the third uses buckshot. To change what ammo type the turret uses, just go to a remander while you have the turret equipped and select which one you want to use. There are a couple other things that can affect turrets. So, offensive trinkets can be used with the turret. For example, if you have the offensive pulse trinket, your turret will shoot pulse rounds. Also, the skill tree has some skills that affect turrets. If you go to the defense skill tree and look to the left, there are some skills you can get for turrets. The skill command operator will apply spotted to the zombies the turret shoots. The assault turret just uses assault ammo, or 556 ammo. And the rocket turret uses explosive ammo and shoots rockets at the zombies for massive AoE damage. Keep in mind, because it's explosive, you can die from the explosive AoE that it shoots. I recommend you get the explosion vest and the health trinket in the defensive trinket menu. The three drones. The first drone is just called drone. This drone uses SMG ammo and can shoot the zombies. It's mostly used to annoy bosses outside. The damage is bad and it's not really worth getting for any other purpose. The second drone, which is the Pulse Drone, is the same thing as the first drone, but it uses Pulse Ammo instead of SMG. And the last drone is called the Hauler Drone. Its main purpose is to haul props and items, so you can bring them inside the cade safely. It can also spot zombies by pressing the reload button while looking at them. Both the regular drone and Pulse Drone do inherent pulse damage, so they can be used with the Pulse Trinkets. The Sentinel Repair Field The repair field's main purpose is to repair props. It uses pulse ammo to send out waves of repair. It can target many props and repair them at the same time. It can also repair deployables. If you go in the skill tree and click defense, the top right portion has some skills that affect the zappers and the repair field. The stinger zapper and the dynamo arc zapper. The stinger zapper zaps the zombies using pulse ammo. It can hit one zombie at a time and has a cooldown after each shot. And the Dynamo Arc Zapper is the Stinger Zapper, but better. It is able to hit multiple zombies in one zap and it does more damage. The Force Field Emitter The Force Field Emitter is used to block zombie projectiles. 
For example, if a poison zombie were to throw his poison at a field emitter, the field emitter would block the poison from going past it. It uses pulse ammo. The field emitter is an essential part of a Cade, as it helps humans avoid being poisoned slash debuffed from the zombies to death. The Nullifier Projectile Shield The Nullifier Projectile Shield is basically a zapper combined with a force field emitter. It uses pulse ammo to block zombie projectiles, but instead of having a solid wall like the force field emitter, it just sends out pulse waves to block those projectiles. In any situation, the force field emitter is probably better to use. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Please do give the video a like and subscribe for more content like this.